we get to Florida and we are, um, what are we doing? Changing everything. Every part of what our life was, everything was up kind of for negotiation except for our faith. But everything else went out with the bathwater. And um, we were here for about a year and we started a co-op and we met a friend and our girls just immediately kicked it off. So I would just touch base with her about classes or lizards or whatever they're talking about. And every conversation she would turn it to my church. My church, did you know that our God is good? Did you know that he doesn't do he does when there's bad things in our life that's not God and I just said okay okay all right do you know that he heals us do you, it was every conversation it was these little seeds and I said why does she keep talking to me about this <laughs> and it's so I'm, pretty clear it yeah. was very every, I mean <laughs> she came it was last year there was a, a sermon I guess we weren't here yet we weren't attending pastor Shannon did communion as a different way and everyone had stew and there was a big potluck apparently of stew and communion and they came over to our house after that service to play and she sat on my couch in my living room and talked about the church and healing and everything for about an hour and a half maybe longer and we're okay 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 (laughs) but simultaneously inside we were probably at one of the lowest points in our life um financially, relationally, just everything was kind of crumbling, but we didn't look, well, I think we didn't look like it, but probably people could see that we were at a low. Um, so we didn't know what we were gonna do because earlier, just before that, in April of that year, um, we knew Patrick would lose his job, just given the circumstances of the world and decisions that we were not unwilling to make. Um, we knew that we were going to have to let that go. And uh, God pushed us in that direction a little bit faster than we were prepared. So, yeah, so I uh, left that job and uh, we started a business. And um, yeah, just the, I think we had a, a sense of like what we were going to do. And we also had a sense of what the timing might look like. And um, the, the timing was different than that. Um, so I think the, I guess the point is we, after, uh, hearing about Lake Haven so many times, um, and I feel like I need like, uh, a lot of, I need to hear something more than once sometimes. (laughs) Um, (laughs) so we, uh, decided to, um, check it out. And, um, so we came, uh, yeah, exactly a year ago, like right before Thanksgiving and, um, uh, it was great and it was um, I think really new to both of us like coming from different um, kind of church backgrounds growing up Catholic and going to Catholic school I felt like I was always in the um, just hearing the word but not actually around it so much but um, and at the same time I thought, why would people go to church on Wednesday nights? Aren't they busy? Like, I grew up in the busy culture. You have to be busy. You have to be working. Can't be just busy. But not with church, necessarily. Just busy doing. So who has time for that? It was kind of my attitude. And now, when things are getting really hard on Wednesday nights, and we're like, this is too much, that's when we double down even harder to get everybody fed and in the car and go to church. Like that is the priority now. Now it is that we make it kind of and spiritually Sunday to Wednesday to Sunday to Wednesday. Like that's where we're, con- you know, right now we're being fed, but hopefully soon that will flip a little bit to where we're able to be a blessing and and be there to feed other people. 